went into the military, I was attending college in Dayton, Ohio, and I wanted to be a social worker. And then I took a break to go into the military. So then I got out of the military in 1998, and I moved to San Angelo, Texas. And I decided to come to ASU to finish getting a degree in social work. But at the time, they didn't have a social work program, so I took a degree in psychology and in sociology. It was hard, because I also was a single mother with two small children, and um, I was working full time and coming to school, and it was kind of exciting because all the um, other students were like much younger in their 20s and running around with lots of energy. And quite often, they thought I was the same age as they were, and they would find out, oh my God, you know, you're old as my mother, <laughs> and things like that. So it was interesting, but I, I it was the, um, the vibe of it I enjoyed the culture of being around all the younger students when I went to school. And I was a very serious student because I knew that I didn't have time to waste. I had to come in, listen to the instructor, do my homework, come to class every day, whereas other students, they were sometimes not coming to class. So I had a more serious approach to it. And um, I realized that if I didn't finish, that I was wasting my money. I did have very good professors. Um, one that comes to mind right now is um, Dr. Lawrence Jones. He taught in um, uh, statistics, the government department. And um, statistics was very difficult for me, but he always had his door open to all students. And I just don't think he thought I was gonna take as much advantage of that <laughs> as I did. So I went to his office frequently and to, to ask them questions to get additional instructions and I ended up doing very well in his class and he was just one of the uh, instructors that comes to mind but there were others that were also very helpful to me as well as the other students and um, so I felt that I could be successful if I just applied myself at ASU. It was hard, it was fun, I enjoyed my time here um, but because I was a non-traditional student I usually came straight to class and I had to hurry off because I had to go to work. So I didn't have a lot of time like to hang out on campus and, and do things like that. And that really wasn't my goal since I was older. I wasn't trying to hang out on campus. I just came in and, and if I was hanging out, I was using the library studying. But it was enjoyable. I had fun. I enjoyed the students that I did meet and I did belong to some study groups. and. Um, we worked with each other and asked these other questions and helped each other get ready for tests and help with papers and things of that nature. So it was, it was just a great extension of education coming out of high school. It was just a great extension. So um, graduating, first just entering ASU was a great accomplishment. My mother was really proud. Uh, so were my children because I, you know, I came in and I already had children when I started ASU. But I started out as, at a community college first in Ohio and then I before I came to ASU, but um, I was the first of my family, as far as the siblings, to um, begin school and then finish school at that level. And then later, my brother, but I was the first. So my parents were really pleased about that. So I started out at a community college and I was taking general studies. I always had an interest in counseling and in psychology. I just didn't know exactly what to do past that. So I um, was friends with a young lady and she was unemployed and she was pregnant and she was kind of needed hope, needed help and she was having a hard time of it. So I went to see her in the hospital after she had the baby and her social worker came in and I just thought she was really rude to her. She wasn't helpful um, and it was really breaking my heart the way they were treating her. She didn't have any money. They gave her bus fare to go home and she had to take her new baby home, but you know, she didn't have any money. And thinking back, she probably did have public assistance to help her feed the baby and things of that nature, but she was just kind of at a loss with no help. So at that moment, I decided, you know, I want to go into social work. Then after that, I went back to the, when I went back to my college and there was an article in one of the school papers and it had groups of conversations going on in the room and then asked the question, which conversation do you identify with? And the one I identified with was the one 
where there were a group of people speaking about social work type of topics and you know helping people things of that nature so I said oh that's what I want to do and then it gave a list of career fields and social work was one so when I moved to San Angelo Texas I wanted to finish getting my degree and um, I did not want to go to Howard College because I knew I wanted to you know, get a master's degree, a bachelor's degree, so I enrolled at ASU. And at the time, they did not have the School of Social Work, so the closest uh, degree for me was sociology and in psychology. So I got a, I received a double bachelor's degree in, in that program. I didn't set out to do that. I was so interested in the topics that I kept signing up for those classes as my electives. Then when I went to my counselor, my um, counselor, he was like, um, you actually have enough to get two degrees. I think you've been working harder than you needed to. And so I was like, wow, well, let me just keep that up and go ahead and get two degrees. And that's how that went. The master's was difficult. <laughs> it was a lot of reading and uh, critical thinking and paper writing. And um, I um, came to school on the GI Bill. So I had um, enough money left over to get another degree. So I was like, well, there's no sense in letting the money you know, go to waste. So I um, applied again to get my master's degree at ASU and I was accepted. So I received a master's degree in public administration. It helped in all areas of my life and in all my work fields. So um, I started out working at public housing and um, it helped in that as well. And um, just being able to communicate well and to do research and understand. And currently I now work for Health and Human Services. If you have a desire to go to school, you're not too old, it's not too hard, you can do it. All you have to do is apply yourself. I was a non-traditional student and it was a wonderful experience for me. It helped me not only in my career field, but just in life in general. The way I think has changed. Um, the way I grasp and consider information has changed. It made me more tolerant and more understanding. One of the best decisions of my life was to come back to school and attend Angelo State University.